I'll jack you to play at Nebraska. Really excited, like but that. you know, just uh, focusing on the task at hand right now, focusing on how really good practices. Uh, pretty sure, you know, everyone would agree we had our best practice today um, of our prior Tuesdays. So that's a great start. A lot players here obviously love playing awesome, but a lot of guys will stay home if they like going on the road. That's sort of us against the world mentality, especially mm -hmm. in places like this. Is there a part of you that likes that challenge as well? Yeah, I mean, I haven't really thought about it that much, but uh, I'm looking forward to playing there. Uh, I've always loved road games, especially, you know, being in uh, Montana for a while. We, I love the road games like California and stuff. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Why was today the best Tuesday you guys have had? I'm not sure. That's, uh, that's a good question. I think we're fired up. We're ready. Or, you know, we will be ready, but we were ready for today. And uh, we had a really good practice. Darren was saying that you guys kind of have taken on that underdog mentality going into Nebraska, crazy environment, good team. How do you feel like you guys are adjusting to that mindset? Yeah, absolutely. I think, in, especially with all the preseason rankings and you know current rankings and stuff, we definitely have an underdog feel. And I love that. And the guys love that. And, uh, you know, we're working, working well with that. How happy are you with the distribution that you showed on Saturday? Five touchdowns, five different guys. Uh, you know, how are you hoping to build off of that? Yeah, that's happy. You know, it's in the past, so moving on to Nebraska, but it's always good to have an offense that has multiple weapons. Um, limits a team's capabilities to, you know, bracket and uh, you know, things like that. Oh, how do you guys think you match up against uh, Nebraska's defense? You know, I haven't really done a whole lot of study on specifically personnel. Uh, you know, they have four key players on defense right now we're looking at, though. But mainly it's just been scheme. And, uh, but, you know, it's, it's easy to say that, you know, I like our, our matchup against anyone in the country with the kind of players we have on the offense side of the ball. Is there a difference in loudness of 54,000 and 90,000 people? You know, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I've never uh, been in front of 90,000. It was only the second time last week being in front of 54,000. But, um, you know, it's loud and stuff. But, you know, when you're in the moment in the game, and like I said, you know, playing in Montana State, you know, in front of 20,000. Really, you know, the offensive side of the ball, it's you know, a little quieter, so you know, it's not like some crazy difference. But I'm sure there will be quite a pickup of Nebraska, you know, when where the visiting team are you know, loud, a lot of defense. So that's something you know we're on all week. First road game. How much emphasis this week is on just silent hand signals and stuff like that to your receivers? Yeah, and anyway. that's something we, that, you know, we work during fall camp as well. It's not like some new foreign thing. Everyone's used to it, but definitely, you know, all week we'll just be working silent.